To all those people watching, I'd like to remind everyone that this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans and adults. Enjoy the fucking video! Back in the days of steam, Spencer used to work on the mainland pulling fast express trains on the main line. But as the years passed, he ran trains up in Scotland due to diesels taking over his usual express route, until he was withdrawn from working service and was later sold to a man named Duke Boxford, who was the head of a business selling rubber, and he ran passenger tours as well as taking Duke and his wife to places where they want to go. Because of this, Spencer was arrogant and boastful, and the engines of the fat controllers disliked it intensely. The Boxfords have their summer house located on the branch line that is run by Percy, James and Emily. And sometimes, Spencer will stay in the shed at night whenever he was needed by the Boxfords. They had another engine there called... Scruff. Scruff was a little vertical engine who helps out at the Boxfords summer house, whether he's shunting Spencer's coaches, delivering needs for the Boxfords, or picking up rubbish or grass clippings from the workmen. He was a kind engine, but Spencer thought having an engine called Scruff was beneath him. Good morning, Spencer, peeped Scruff cheerfully. Got your coaches ready for you. What are you taking the... I don't have time for idle chit-chat, Scruff. Couple of those coaches to me now. Chop, chop. Scruff, quite taken aback by Spencer's rudeness, did as he was told. Scruff likes working for the Boxworth family as they appreciate the work that he has done for them, but he gets quite often annoyed by Spencer. All I did was ask where they were going, he pouted as he rolled slowly towards Spencer's tender with the coaches. Oh, don't bump me, Spencer shouted. That was only a little bump, retorted Scruff crossly. A frumpy engine should be more careful towards an important private engine like myself, Spencer called back. But Scruff rolled his eyes and he puffed away to Kirkrun and Harbour to collect some empty trucks. Hello everybody, welcome to the island of Sodor. Percy was resting in a siding when the vertical engine puffed in. What's the matter, Scruff? he asked. Usually you'll be so chirpy. Then Scruff mentioned Spencer and his bossy attitude. Typical of Spencer, frowned Percy in agreement. Yeah, sighed Scruff, but I just put up with it. You shouldn't be putting up with Spencer's attitude, Scruff. It's not right to tolerate a bossy engine. I know, Percy, but no matter how much I try to reason with him, Spencer couldn't be bothered to understand since he's so important. What else can I do? Just try at least and Percy puffed away to do more shunting around the yards, while Scruff made his way back to the summer house. While Scruff understood what Percy was saying, he didn't take Percy's advice, and Spencer kept on being rude to him as the days passed. Ugh! What on earth is that smell? Spencer gasped. You smell like you come from the harbour! That's because I did, Spencer! Collecting empty trucks for the rubbish! Oh, you need a wash! Do that right now! I can't do that right now, Spencer! I said do it! So Scruff did. I'm just going to get mucky again once I take this rubbish, he thought crossly. 
Later that day, Scruff returned from the tip with a pungy smell. Spencer had just returned with the box of it and was looking forward to a rest when he smelled Scruff. Yuck! Scruff! Go and have a wash on the devil! Sooner or later, there'll be no soap sides for you. Poor Scruff kept on being bossed around by Spencer, and by now he was getting fed up with it and wanted to take Percy's advice. But no matter how many times he did, Spencer didn't bother to listen and kept on being a pain in the boiler for him. Scruff, old boy! Can you take my coaches to the siding at Kill Store, please? These empty trucks are needed at the harbour right away, Spencer. Could you shunt them yourself? Why should an engine like me shunt my own coaches? I'm a private engine. I'm one too, you know, replied Scruff crossly. Spencer was speechless. For the first time, Scruff had finally stood up towards Spencer, and he felt great about it. But Spencer felt almost offended. How dare he speak to me like that? Him, a private engine? Nonsense! He is nothing more but a common engine that just happens to work for my private owners. And when he returned, Spencer was even bossier and bossier to the little engine. Scrap tried to talk back, but Spencer was having none of it. So much for standing up to him. Oh, I should pay him out. One morning, Spencer woke up for something urgent. Duke Boxford came to see him and said, There are some important business deals that I have to attend to in London, Spencer, he said, and I cannot be late for it. Wake up, Scruff, whistled Spencer. Get my coaches for me now. But why? yawned Scruff. No back talk, just do it! Spencer barked, so Scruff did. That Spencer, someone should hold those coaches back. That would be good to get back at him for being rude to. Spencer waited and waited at the station. Where is that little green box? He seethed. I'm needed for an important journey. I must not miss my path. At last, Scruff arrived with the coaches. About time, hissed Spencer. It wasn't even that long for Scruff to collect them, but to Spencer, it seemed to have been ages. Scruff, however, smirked to himself as he placed the coaches on Spencer's tender. When I give the word, he whispered to his driver. The workmen rushed around the train to see if everything is ready. Between Spencer's coach and tender is a corridor connection. Back when Spencer and his relatives were working on the other railway, his tender had a corridor, connected by hooks that screws went through from the coach to his cab so it could run without stopping. But Spencer was in such a rush that the workmen had connected the corridor to his tender, but they had forgotten to couple him. Duke Boxford and his wife rushed to the coaches with their bags full of things, and as soon as the path was cleared for Spencer, he began to puff away. But he felt that the coaches were too heavy for him to pull. What on earth? he gasped. What he didn't know was that Scruff was holding him back with his brakes locked on. Come on, come on, come on, he puffed. I need to get to London, I need to get to London. But then there was trouble. As he managed to gain traction, something snapped. Spencer puffed forward, feeling the weight be much lighter. Right, off we go! But then they stopped. What's going on? We managed to make traction. His driver looked back and saw the corridor connection all snapped off and broken. Both Spencer and Scruff were surprised. Oh, what have I done? When Spencer heard the voice, he was fuming. Scruff! He shouted. Bear came and took the box fits to London instead, while Spencer and his coach got repaired. Mm. 
Scruff, however, felt very silly for what he had done. When Duke Boxford came back and saw both Scruff and Spencer, he was not very pleased when he heard what Scruff had done. I am sorry, sir, he said apologetically. I didn't mean for Spencer to break the corridor connection, and I shouldn't have played a trick on him as well since you were in need for something urgent. You shouldn't have, agreed Duke. But why did you do that, Scruff? It's not like you. Then Scruff told Duke about Spencer and his bossy behaviour. He then looked sternly towards him. Spencer, you shouldn't have treated Scruff like that. Just because you're our private engine doesn't mean that you go off and treat others like Scruff here as second rate. And that goes to you being like that to Sir Richard's engines as well. You should apologise to Scruff, and Scruff, you should apologise to Spencer. Despite Spencer acting all high and mighty, your trick towards him there's no better, especially when it comes to something urgent. I am sorry for not informing you about it, because we were going in an urgent manner, but you should know that all our private trains are important no matter what. So both engines have apologised for their behaviour. And from that day on, Spencer treats Scruff and all the other engines with respect.